I'm back. Hi, I'm Eli. I'm from Ace and Casey, and I'm bringing something old from my past onto this channel. It's a way for me to talk and review movies the only way I know how. Also, I really needed a hobby. So, this is Eli's Corner. And what's going to happen is I'm going to be talking here in my little chair, in my little corner, and you'll be seeing clips of from the movie or just whatever really relates to what I'm talking about on this screen right here. So, let's get started. And before I start talking about this movie, I need to address one thing. I am a huge Disney fan. Let it go, let it go. Be our guest, be our guest. Thank you, flashback. <laughs> so, you probably can tell by the title of the movie that I will be reviewing a recent Disney remake. Now, I just want to address before I get started, I've actually enjoyed some of the Disney remakes that have that have come out recently. Uh, Cinderella, I actually enjoyed a little bit. The Jungle, I love The Jungle Book. Pete's Dragon? I'm never gonna see that. But today, I will be reviewing Beauty and the Beast. So, how can I sum this up in a sentence that is professional and just gathers all my thoughts into one? Well, simple. This movie sucked! Okay, I'm, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was, uh, that was unprofessional. And quite honestly, I just sound like another YouTuber that just screams into the camera. Probably gonna happen later on, but whatever. Okay. Um, I did not enjoy this movie. I enjoyed some of the remakes, I did not enjoy this one. Let's talk about it. So, what's first on my uh, little notes here? Um, okay, let me talk about some of the good. The cast was pretty nice. I, I will not lie. Uh, who they got to play for the, uh, the antiques, or the, um, you know, the furniture people, uh, Lemire, Cogsworth, uh, Mrs. Potts, uh, they, they were pretty good. They, they, I will give, they were pretty good. Uh, the, who they got for the Beast? I actually did kind of enjoy the Beast. Um, the only thing is about some of the, um, the cursed people, like whether it's the furniture people or the Beast, I did not like their designs. I mean, the Beast, okay, here's what I liked about the original. The Beast actually looked like a beast, okay? There was nothing human about him. In this movie, they tried to make him look more human. And, which I kind of get, but it just kind of threw me off. He didn't really look like an animal. He just looked like a human that was transformed into an animal. Which I get that's what happened, but still. Also, I want to address right now that one of my favorite characters from the original Beauty and the Beast, Lemire, okay, he was my favorite character from that movie, and he was one of the things that I had to make sure they got right in this movie. And I, I'm i kind of on the edge of whether I liked Lemire in this movie, because first of all, the actor does a pretty good job, he's likable, but once again, I do not like his design. I mean... He literally looks like a human dipped in gold. I mean, at least in the original, he actually looked like a candlestick. Or a candle holder, or whatever you call them. And in this one, he, he just looks like a human. Again! Why? I, okay, in the movie's defense, I did kind of enjoy the design of Cogsworth. Because he looked like an actual clock... And he, they found a way to make him look like he's able to move around and talk through it. And I, I liked Cogsworth. I will say that. Also, Gaston. It was alright. I mean, I liked the actor who uh, portrayed him. Um, I didn't feel like he was much of a jerk, at least in the beginning. And to be honest, I didn't see a reason for Belle to really reject him in the beginning. Because he was actually acting like a nice guy. Yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff I had to say that was good about it. Now for the reasons why I did not enjoy it. One of them being, this felt rushed. Like, really, really rushed. 
It felt like they were trying to get through the movie as fast as possible. It felt like Beauty and the Beast on fast forward. Because, first of all, there's, there's tiny little moments in the original Beauty and the Beast that, you know, just gets the uh, atmosphere down. This, however, just feels like, hey, it's trying to get from one scene to another. Also, I'd like to say that um, the special effects in this movie, besides uh, the furniture, cursed people, um, they're not that good. I'm sorry, there are some obvious green screens in this movie, and even I noticed it, okay? That is bad, okay, for Disney standards. I mean, have you seen Jungle Book? I thought they actually filmed it in, an, in a jungle. Okay, I didn't think they screamed it in, like, this green room. So, that's impressive. How did you manage to do that? So, what did I think of the music? Um, once again, they're trying to be different. In the Be Our Guest song, I feel like it was being a bit too over the top. And Be Our Guest is already an over the top song, and I enjoy it. But... The thing is, here's the thing, they add more, but it doesn't make it better. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, they add more stuff to the movie, but it doesn't make it better. It just makes it kind of different, because they're trying to be different. Now, the reason I'm using quotations when I say that they're trying to be different is because of the main problem I have with this movie. Okay, uh, here, here's, here's how I'll, I'll explain this. Okay, see this? Alright. Now, do you see this line? Alright, do you see that line? Uh, hang on, let me make it... Alright, this is... Let's say this line represents an original movie. Just bear with me, alright? Now, it doesn't matter which one, either. So, let's say that the Cinderella remake, okay is this line and it kind of goes in yeah now see that if you can see it that let's say that represents the cinderella remake now this let's say this represents the jungle book remake it took different angles and it tried to tell the story from a different approach making it different now, the Cinderella remake, it's, it took um, some elements and it took a new spin on it, making it different, telling it from another point of view. Not exactly another point of view, but you know what I'm talking about. Now, would you like to know what Beauty and the Beast's line is? Let's say this represents the Beauty and the Beast's remake. Let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Notice any difference? No? It looks like the, exactly the same line? Well, good, because that's exactly what this movie is! It's nothing different! It is the same movie, the same original movie, except live action. There is nothing different about it, and that is what my main problem with this movie is! At least with the other Disney remakes, they try to tell it from another angle. At least they try to make it look different. This Beauty and the Beast does not make it different. They add on to the original movie to say, hey, look, we're different. Hey, look, we'll diff we're different. Hey, let's change up the scenario in this to make us different. But no, it it's not different. If anything, you're making it way more obvious that you're trying to be different! And yes, I am aware that I sound like one of those screamy internet reviewers, but I'm sorry, I have a passion for this stuff, so this is the only way that I can express that. Whew! Man, that felt good. Oh, by the way, another thing before I end, Emma Watson can't sing. I'm sorry, that, that she is auto-tuned like hell. And it is noticeable. Disney, what the hell? So, I'm not saying that I'm 100% right. I'm just a reviewer, this is just my opinion, and all I can say is, overall, Beauty and the Beast was eh. At, at very most, is eh. I'm not gonna recommend it, 
If anything, I'm going to recommend the original Beauty and the Beast because that is way better. It was nominated for an, for an award. I forgot which one, but it was. That's what happens when you try to remake a perfect movie. So I guess I'd give it a... Mm, 4 out of 10. No, 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 take it back. 3 out of 10. Sorry. It's just, no. No. Whew. Well, that was my review of Beauty and the Beast. Was I wrong? Of course I wasn't wrong, but what did you think? Do you think that it was any good? Let me know in the comments below. And once again, guys, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you want to share it with Facebook or Twitter or whatever the heck you have, then do that. And if you want to watch more videos like this, then click that subscribe button below. So to sign off, I'm Eli. I'm from Mason Casey, and I'll see you later. I miss doing this. This was awesome. I wonder what review I'll do next. How many how many review how many movies have come out lately? I wonder if there's a TV show that I could possibly do an episode review The maybe a new season's coming out this Saturday? Bye!